Okay, <clears throat> so here's how to make dependent combo boxes. So we're going to go into this ABC code form <clears throat> as an example. I apologize for my voice. I am losing it today. So I'm going to add two dependent combo boxes to this form. The first one is going to be a combo box that pulls up um, simply the customer selection. So I'm going to add my combo box. I'm going to bind it to an epi data view. This is important, right? So in this case, I'm only going to use the uh, BPM data view. <coughs> and I'm going to bind it to the um, epi data view. And then I'm going to set it to bring in information from the customer business object. All right, so if we look here, it is going to return the customer name <coughs> in the drop down, and the value is going to be the customer number. All right? And it is bound to number one. Now I'm going to add a dependent combo box that will bring in the ship twos for the selected customer. Again, draw a combo box. Oops, sorry about that. Draw a combo box and then um, bind it to the same data view. This is important, right? So in this case, I'm going to bind to character one in the BPM data model. <coughs> and I'm going to now bring in the ship to data. So I'm going to find my ship to business object. <laughs> ship to. <coughs> All right, and I see that it binds and it, gives, it brings me back the ship to name as well as the uh, ship to number. Now, I want to filter based on the customer number. So I'm going to go ahead and add to my columns that I'm returning as a hidden column, the customer number. All right, so that means that I'm going to also get back the customer number um, from my data set. Okay. <clears throat> and just to make my display look a little bit nicer, uh, I'm going to all, all add my ship to num to the drop down so that I can see the ship to because the names might be the same. All right. <clears throat> so right now I have two functioning combo boxes that pull data from business objects, but they're not dependent on each other yet. This is where the filter append functionality comes into place. Epi filters append allows you to set a dynamic criteria on the combo box based on the value of a different epi data view. So how do I do that? You go to the filter append and you're going to type in the following format. So we want to say where the cost num is equals to and we want to pull in the value from the current um, number 01 oops, epi data binding. Um, and then <coughs> we're going to do comma zero, meaning if, if there's nothing there, uh, filter on zero. And this basically is going to add the dependency. So whatever value cost nomi returns into number one will filter down into the ship two. Okay, so we're going to hit okay there and hit save. <coughs> and we're going to say CMB test, CMB test. And close that, and close that. And so hopefully if we did everything correctly, if I pick uh, Addison here, then I should only have Addison ship two numbers. If I pick uh, Boxstar, then I should only have Boxstar ship twos. And the same for any of these. So there you go. Free, code free rather, um, combo box dependency.